Cook here, welcome back to my channel. I'm traveling all over the place at the moment, so as you can see, the background is a bit different. Um, hunted this down in a CVS, had a 40% voucher, they still do in the States, sell the Eau de Cologne of Shalimar, 75 ml. Turned out to cost around $35 after all the reductions. It was $51 full price, so that was a great steal. I'm going to open it. Um, the Eau de Cologne, I'm not saying it's discontinued, but the Guerlain website does not offer it anymore, so it's about finding literally leftover batches here and there. Come on, get out of there. So let's see the batch code of this one. Well, we're gonna figure it out. When we unbox it, haha. Okay, there it is. Now this bottle I like more than the Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum because it's more sleek and straightforward. It doesn't go in that kind of amphor style. Really enjoying it. Stickers placed nicely in the center. Feels very old school. Um, okay, sorry, let me just quickly. It's a, a 6SO1 is what it says here at the bottom of the bottle, which is very hard to see given the light circumstances we have here, but I do have the badge code at the bottom here as well. There, S, no, sorry, 6SO1. Hmm. All right, let's see how the sprayer works because you could check out my uh, Eau de Parfum review, well, unboxing or first impressions of Shalimar, um, the refillable sprayer, and just the, the spray thing just does not work at all very well. Let's see if it works better on the Eau de Cologne. Yeah, it does. It looks, oh, wow. Okay, I sprayed a lot, but as you can see, oh, it smells so good. It's much lighter um, in many respects to the Eau de Parfum. There's like less of that uh, intense vanilla kind of feather meets vanilla meets extreme orient type of warmth. The Eau de Cologne has a bit more citrus in it, a bit more freshness in it. It's a bit more sparkly, uh, at least now in the opening notes. Um, but I do feel uh, the depth in there as well. So I do feel like um, it will get a bit more vanilla, like a warm vanilla hue is going to be there quite soon. Um, although it is much more fresh, I can put the box there so you can keep seeing that one. <laughs> I have the feeling it will show up. Um, it's, it doesn't really bite as much as I expected it to bite, even though it has more of that kind of uh, bergamotty, maybe citrusy, just kind of a bit more fresh opening note. Um, it's still well rounded. It doesn't feel in any way cloying, actually. Um, you can't mistake it for anything else. It's extremely Shalimar, even in the Eau de Cologne concentration. It has more of a weight to it, and by that I don't mean that it's heavy or that it's hefty in terms of being cloying but I just feel it has a depth it hmm, it has a certain depth to it um, because the Cologne has that citrusy blend with the vanilla together um, so the citrus makes you very aware of it it's very sparkly but then that deep classic Guerlain, Chalim, um, Guerlain vanilla, it, it's a very deep, it's a very deep and warm vanilla. So you have that strange contrast right in the opening. You, you, you feel that the vanilla is going to come out and it's already there, but then you have the fresh citruses and that the combination of the two is very uh, mesmerizing. It's, um, I think depending on which climate you're in, um, if you're in a very humid climate, that combo can go very quickly in 
Uh, now I'm about to say something and you're all going to go, ew, but don't forget that a lot of ingredients in perfumery in the past, most of them are probably illegal worldwide now, are, you know, glands from the backsides of animals and stuff like that. So you do have hormonal smells that are kind of also ambergris, you know, that is, it is literally the poop of whales. Um, so what I'm trying to say is this one can go a bit poopy in, um, very humid climates, if you're using it in very dry climates um, and cooler climates, you will not get that note out. But right now where I am, it's very humid and it does um, tend to go a little bit into that acidic direction. Oh. <laughs> now this sounds gross, but I mean, in perfumer, you gotta understand, like these are ingredients that are totally, it's normal to talk about them. But it's 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 changing quickly. So um, by that I mean, as it starts blending in with your own chemistry, with your own, um, you know, hormones, with your own essential oils from your own skin, it does start to change and and morph into something else that becomes just uniquely your own scent. Of course, Shalimar will be predominant in terms of whoever knows about this fragrance will recognize it on you. Uh, but however, Shalimar, I have the feeling at least the Colon does allow you because does allow your own identity and personality to, to to kick in and hence bond better with certain ingredients from the perfume. So it will smell slightly different on everybody's skin. It's that good of a perfume. So it's it's not a completely chemical perfume. Like for example, CK1 just smells like CK1 on every on every person I smell it on. It, it just there's no difference. It doesn't change at all on, on different skins really. Uh, this one um, this one does, and on me usually Shalimar, I mean the eau de parfum tends to turn very very warm, very soft, very I mean very luscious, uh, very comforting, very safe. Uh, the vanilla is it just it, it's a furry, fluffy, velvety vanilla on me. The other Cologne so far is it's it's a very tamed vanilla. The, the, the kind of citrusy note keeps it fresh, so the velvety, furry, fluffy aspect of it is less fluffy. Uh, it's still very warm and comforting, but it, it's just in a way kept um, aloft. <laughs> if you want, by by the lighter Cologne notes at, on the top. It's very, very good. It's very delicious. I, I can't say just yet, because I just sprayed it for the first time, if I would prefer the Eau de Cologne to the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Parfum is really just warm through and through. This one has cooler streaks within it. It's as if the bottle itself, you know, if you check out the bottle of the Eau de Parfum, you will have kind of a clean glass. It won't have these wavy aspects to it. So you could kind of compare, you could say that the Eau de Cologne, so that these bits of glass are the warm aspect and then these cuts, these straight lines are kind of streaks of, of freshness of kind of citrusy tones that kind of cut through the vanilla. So the bottle really quite well describes the Eau de Cologne as opposed to the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Parfum is more yeah, it doesn't have all of these uh, waves and streaks in, inside of the, you know, the glass is all clear. It's just one shape. Here you can see it very well, but I mean, this one really feels like a fruit. It's not fruity at all, but if this bottle were a fruit, the fruit has these lines going through it. It doesn't let you really enjoy that warmth completely. There are these streaks of kind of freshness of something that you have to tame, you have to work with. That's the Cologne. The Eau de Parfum doesn't really have that. But it's really, really good. Um, and definitely, in my opinion, the Eau de Cologne seems to be much more wearable during the day. I have a tendency of wearing um, Shalimar, the Eau de Parfum, right, right before I go to bed. If I need this warm feeling, warm, cozy, fluffy feeling. Uh, the Eau de Parfum is something I, I spray on before I go to bed. This one I would um, go for during the daytime as well. Granted, it's not too hot outside. I'm not saying it's not good for hot weather. I just think to me personally, um, 
it's really nice to have this in cooler weather because it it gives me that oomph that boost of um of self-confidence and inner warmth to to help me get through the day so if you do get an opportunity to hunt down an eau de cologne of Shalimar, i do suggest it the bottle is really cool too but only if you get a chance don't force yourselves you know what i mean so let's see the stopper i mean this is a bit tacky you have to say it's just the plastic blue and then the gold print on the plastic blue it's not the best thing we've seen but it doesn't matter it's still loving this bottle this is um of the ones present to date or from the eau de toilette eau de parfum pure perfume and eau de cologne eau de cologne is uh the favorite shape so far for me anyway thank you guys so much for watching hope you like this review or unboxing or first impressions or reveal if you have, please do thumb it up and let me know what you think about Shalimar Eau de Cologne or the Shalimar family in general in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to consider at least subscribing to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching and never give up on warm love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.